Hello everyone, it's Jarrett Moore back again with another video. In today's video, we're going to discuss a question that was recently posted on the forum of the Enterprise DNA Forum, and it was regarding charticulators. So without further ado, let's head on over to the forum and check out the post. Head on over to Charticulator here. Um, this is actually the Enterprise DNA Forum. This is the actual link to the, the actual post. I'll make sure that this is included in the, in the uh, link below. So you'll have access to this. Um, David Joey here. Uh, David, one of the members of the forum, always asks great questions and is constantly learning and improving himself and, and his Power BI skills. Had a question today on one of uh, Mudasir's videos that he has in his visualization course on how he highlighted the max value of some in a bar chart and all the other charts or the all the other colors of the other bar charts were a different color. So what I did was is I had to look a bit at his PBIX. So what we'll do now is we'll go over here and switch back to Power BI. And this is what the data set originally looked like. All I had was this right here. Um, so what I did was to, to make this, uh, if, if you highlight this right here, it'll tell you all he was bringing in was total tickets and the reporter um, from his one table that he has of data over here. What I like to do is visually see that on the screen as well. So what I did was I created this chart right here to where we can see all the reporters and the total tickets. What he was wanting to do in his solution is bring in the max value of what he had over here is a measure for max tickets. He wanted to bring in this measure right here into, into the um, Charticulator. But for some reason right now within the Charticulator app within the Power BI um, desktop, it does not like a text value for this measure. So Without further ado, I'll show you why it doesn't like that. So what we'll do is we'll create another Charticulator. Click on, oops, make sure I dis deselect that. Choose another Charticulator. Make that just a hair bit bigger. We'll bring in the reporter again. We'll, br we'll bring in the um, total tickets, which he had. And then what I'll do is click on the three dots here, hit edit. And right now it says create chart. But if I bring in the max tickets here, it'll still allow me to create the chart. But I get this error with all this information right here. So for some reason it doesn't like this right here. So we'll just go ahead and delete this. Go back to report. Yeah, I want to delete it. And we'll make sure that we just delete this. Remove it. So what I did was, instead of making that a text value, what I did was just change the max tickets measure from, let's just say if we wanted to, instead of making this a text value, all we'd have to do is just change this, for example, we'll change this to a one, and instead of blank, I'll make this zero. Let that save here real quick. And now if I bring in my max tickets measure into that table we have over here, we will see that Nicole is the reporter that has the max tickets. That's why she has the value of one and she is the, the, that is matching up correctly. So now what we can do is bring this into the Charticulator and create the Charticulator the way that he wanted to do it. So now let's create a new Charticulator. And we'll bring in those fields here. But what I've learned over time is, is we'll bring in the reporter here. Like I was saying, instead of bringing in the measure for total tickets, I like to just bring in the actual value of number of tickets. And then we'll bring in that max tickets measure. And then we should be able to go in here and hit edit. And now we get the create chart and we should get everything correctly. So now I'm going to build a chart on here 
just make this a little bit bigger here choose my mark here throw this on the glyph and then we'll click here and we'll stack this y on the on the y-axis we'll take our reporter and go over to the y-axis and I like the way that's set up right now because it's it the, the default order right now is the reporter from their name from A to Z and and I like that but you could definitely change this if you wanted to um, with some of these options right here of, of ordering the elements right in here but we won't do that for this video um, so what I'm going to do now is take the number of tickets to get our width so now we see that we have different size bars for each one of those so what we'll do next here in this process is we'll bring in the text just throw that on the chart there and we'll align that somewhere just inside the center see how that let me just move this maybe a hair in let me move this some more Oops. Just keep trying to move this in. Actually, let's just align it at the very end here. I think we'll be fine um, for this right here. Or I sort of want this to get inside this box right here. So let's try to move this back over. If I can get this in. right there that way we have it there in the middle here and obviously you can adjust this you know at your own um at your own leisure and, and get it the way that you want to this is just how i want to show it for this video here um so with this text right here let's go ahead and bring if i if i click on this uh pin right here it'll make this bigger and then what i'll do here is expand this a little bit and we'll take our number of tickets and that will be the actual text and then I don't want to see a decimal so we'll change this to point zero and I'll pin that back and now we can see our values right here and next thing that we'll do is we'll go over here to the shape and this is where we're going to adjust the screen to where the bars will be one color for all the values except for the max value and that max value will make a distinct color so let's go into shape we'll click on the pin here we'll make this uh, larger so we can see everything so we already have the width of the bars on the average number of tickets so what we want to do now is on the fill is take our max tickets measure and drop that in right here and then click on this little palette and we can do custom and what we can do here let me just click out of here real quick see how all these charts all this is white and then the max is black so what we'll do here go to custom the white is everything else so the white let's just make a, a nice little blue collar and then we'll make this one black in this case right here don't want to add a legend and then what I would do next here once I pin this back, is go back to our text and we'll shrink that down just a hair. And then we'll go over here and change the color to a white. So now that we have that all set up, what I like to do is I don't like to see these dots or this black line that's right here. So if I click on the plot segment and then we'll make this a little bit larger so we can see it a little bit better on the screen here. And then what we do here is we can obviously see that this is on the y-axis and if we click on these three dots right here this brings up the line color and that's that line color that I want to change to a white so we'll just change this to a white change that back and now we can see that there is no line right there so then now this is how you can actually take a bar chart and show the max value as a different color without having to conditionalize within the typical power bi chart like 
David wanted to see in the forum post. So if I hit save now and go back to report and hit save, we can actually make this a little bit bigger. And now we see this right here. We can just go in and change the, the name of the um, of the title of the chart right here if we wanted to, but for this instance, we don't really need to. So this right here is just a real quick version of, of how I solved this question on the Power BI forum of how David just wanted to see a bar chart like this, and he wanted to highlight the max value in a different color. I hope you all enjoyed the video today and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Hey everyone. Thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the content covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like. It really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators, uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website, plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best, take care.